we're gonna be doing the same thing. I'm gonna be showing you guys the outfits I wore this week, how I put them together, why I chose the pieces, and overall just the things that I look forward to wearing this fall and this winter. So it finally fell below 100 degrees in Arizona this week. In the last video, Rochelle commented, can't wait to see what fall fits you put together. You inspired me to be a better version of myself. We're gonna be resending Rochelle the $100 from last video. Comment down below your favorite part of this video. I'm gonna randomly send one of you guys $100, so make sure to attach your Cash App or your Venmo to your comment down below. Shout out to Rochelle for looking forward to the fall outfits as we're gonna get into that right now in this episode. So let's get started. All right, so this box may look familiar to some of you guys. These sneakers are from a brand called Stephanie Workers Club. You guys have actually seen other colorways in this silhouette on the channel before. This pair recently gifted to me by Stephanie Workers Club. This is a black canvas pair. This colorway also incorporates some creams and some whites as well. This was actually my first pair of Stephanie's. I purchased these at Kith in Los Angeles. And again, they gifted me this pair as well as another pair that you guys will see styled in this video. I went into the S-Strike silhouette a little bit more in detail in last week's video, so make sure you guys check that out if you want my initial comments and critiques on the sneakers, but overall, such a beautiful silhouette. Thank you, Stephanie, for gifting these to me, and now let's put them together with an outfit. Earlier this year, I picked up these No Fear shorts. It's in this khaki colorway. They have these squared off pockets in the front that have a little bit of like a pleating to it. So they kind of extend as the pockets get more full. As you guys can see the No Fear tag right there. And then there's also another one on the back pocket. The back pockets are Velcro. And again, the front pockets, the squared off box pockets. Really happy I was able to find these. It's very rare to come across any No Fear pieces as far as shorts and pants. So anytime I do, I try and pick them up for a fair price. These have not been worn yet, so we're gonna sell them for the first time right now. Here's a little pointer for you guys too. If you ever have pants or shorts that are too big for you, and when you put a belt on, they kind of stack in the front like this, I'll basically just pull the sides back and try and push all that stuff to the back where you don't really see it as much. You don't really want it all bunched up and stuff like right in your crotch to keep it real. So I honestly just pull it all to the back. Can't really tell as big of a difference. I'm wearing a shorter shirt, but I'm about to put a longer one on. Just a little something to make your pants look better, knowing that most of you guys probably don't fit every single one of your pants perfectly. I'm about to put a hoodie on over this tee, but this is from Noi Ifre, long, long time ago. They are now better known as Bound by Soul, but this is just like a DTG print graphic tee. Mainly just went with this tee today for the length of it. I'm gonna throw a hoodie on over the top, so I just wanna be able to have a shirt that's long enough that it'll peek out a little bit on the bottom, but not too much, so. I'm just gonna go with this piece. And then to finish off the top half of this outfit, we just have this all black No Fear hoodie. As you can see, there's a two-tone embroidery hit on the front left chest and like a cream and a brown. And it is also on an old No Fear tag. And then to finish this fit off, we're gonna throw on the Stephanie Workers Club S-Strikes. Should we do the Shador? Damn, the Shador. Hey. Tell, tell them what you think about the Stephanie Workers Club. The what? Glow. Huge fan, kind of wish I had my size. Should I get you a pair? Yeah. I'm gonna get my guy. Hit the plug. I'll post. I actually love them. They're low key, and they kind of remind me of the handshake that we have, so. It is, I didn't even mention that. They got the yeah. shake my hand at the on the tongue. Colorways are nice, clean. Nice low silhouette you can wear with pants and shorts. Wow. And that's not an ad, because I would wear it with both. You would. And I've seen you wear it with both. I'll get you a pair for Christmas. Hey. Should I get someone down below in the comments a pair? We should. You should give them one. Wow. You know Comment what? your favorite part of the video. Not only are we going to give $100 to a random comment, drop a comment down below your sneaker size. I'm going to hit up my friends at Stephanie Workers Club. I'm going to personally wow. buy the pair myself, and we're going to get shipped to you. We're going to give away a pair in this video. That's Audible. Huge. Audible giveaway. That was huge. Wow. Right yeah. off the Audible coming off. Thanks for stepping in. Yeah, you're welcome. Now back into the show. Let's jump into Tuesday's fit. Finding a little bit of a theme that anytime I get a new sneaker, that somehow I always end up wearing it for the first time. 
on a Tuesday. I did it with the Off-White Fives and now I have another new pair. This one, a newer release from Union LA. These are the criminally slept on, criminally undervalued Jordan 1 Union. I picked up this shoe for, it was either like 180 or 200, something like that. I know that it was under retail, which completely blew me away. Really neutral and easy to get away with, but just the subtle details on this shoe that I just don't understand how they're only going for what they're going for. You have the stitching on the back, the whole woven stitch around the entire shoe, around the toe box. Just overall, such a great colorway that I think people really need to wake up on. Maybe they just need to see it in hand. Maybe they need to see it on foot or styled. That's what we're here today to do anyway. Let's throw a fit together with the Jordan 1. For the base of this fit, we're gonna go with this pair of blue Levi's. Love the way these fit me. More of a slim fit than a skinny, uh, but just wide enough at the bottom to get over the thickness of like the ankle of the Jordan ones. Gonna pair this with some really cool colors as well. For the tee, I'm gonna go with this cream Kith Aaliyah collab tee. I got this gifted to me a couple years ago, but this was picked up at the Kith in Hawaii, I believe. And at the time they had just dropped the Aaliyah collection with Kith. Really cool front graphic of Aaliyah on the front. Let them know in a bunch of different colors. Stack text all the way down the front of the shirt. Sometimes Kith's graphics can be a little bit too much for me, but I thought this one was really sick. I also love Kith's blank tee. I think they're really comfortable and I think that they fit me really well. This one is a size large, so, so this one. How I feel, I've been made of last piece of this outfit is going to be this gold crest vintage zip up flannel with these really sick colors on it. Kind of like a rainbow vibe, but when I saw this, I immediately thought of that uh, Arteris jacket that Lil Yachty wore where it just kind of like fades from one shade of like brown and orange throughout the entire jacket. So when I saw this, I definitely had to pick it up. I think the colors are sick and I feel like this can be worn in so many different ways, which I plan on doing this fall anyway. So I think it was definitely worth the like 40 bucks I paid for it. I don't typically pick up vintage pieces like this that are loud. I try and pick up more subtle things that I can get more wear out of. But again, I feel like this piece is really dynamic and it fits me really well too. So I was really happy about this pickup. I also vlogged the day that I picked up this piece, but I didn't end up finishing that video. I got a bunch of cool like B-roll in the store um, and then like a quick clip of shopping. Let me know if you guys wanna see some videos outside of the house, going to vintage events, picking up, shopping, stuff like that. I don't really wanna do it, but if you guys wanna see it, I would go out of my way too. Either way, love this piece. Let's throw on the unions. One thing real quick, I forgot to mention about the shoes. They are like the other unions where the laces kind of ombre into another color. They start at white and then by the time you get to the top, they finish in like this really sick gray color that matches the swoosh. Another great detail about this shoe. this week I have a lot of similarities um, especially like in the color palette that I was feeling this week so this one was honestly just like a little bit louder but I think it came together pretty sick let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments below let's get into Wednesday so we're gonna start this one off with the pants and it might be a little too early to be able to say this but this might be my favorite pair of pants for all of fall or winter this year and I've only had these for like five days we we're just in Boston for an event Boston got sold their 10-year anniversary and we were on Newberry Street where they just recently remodeled the Arcteric store I went in looking for a pair of pants not really anything specific but I just know they make a good pant as I was at the checkout counter right behind me was the new arrivals of the women's stuff this pair of pants were on the rack I asked them if they had a big enough women's size for me to try on. They did. It was a size 12. Yeah, a size 12. This is also called the uh, Kahara pant. These have a pretty expensive retail tag, but for someone that spends a lot of money on clothing, certain pieces make sense to spend the money on. Arcteryx is known for having pieces that last a very long time. These pants are also waterproof, which I don't really feel like I'm going to run into any situations where I'm going to need it, but I just think it's pretty sick. But the most important thing for me is I love the way that these fit. They come in nice and tight at the waist, but they are a very, very baggy wide leg pant. You really need to see them on body for you to get the full judgment of them. So let's go. This was one of the more basic outfits that I wore, but I just paired it with this vintage Betty Boop tee. You got the California girl graphic on the front, riding the bike with a little dog in the back. Nothing on the backside of this shirt, and it's on a made in USA 
vintage Miller tag. Most of my Betty pieces are dated. This one is not, but I would say that this one's from the early 90s, a white single stitch tee. I don't believe that this one has seen the channel yet, so let's check it out for the first time. Yeah, dude, I just think this one's so sick. I really love the vibrance of the green on this one. Definitely need to break this one out more. And then for the feet on this one, we have the Jordan 4 SB Pine Green. If you guys watch the Common Hype channel, I picked these up like release day and actually ended up lucking out. Market went way up on them. And at the time I was honestly paying pretty high just because a customer had walked in to the store with them and wanted to sell them like right after he picked them up. So I ended up grabbing them off of him. Don't regret it at all. I really love this shoe. Don't really wear it as much just because Jordan 4 hurt my feet really bad, but I was just chilling in the office on Wednesday. So I knew I was gonna be off my feet. This outfit, it's kind of hard to see why I love these pants so much, but as I bring them back into all the following videos in the coming weeks, I think you guys are gonna find a little bit of love and appreciation for them as well. Again, one of the more calmer ones for this week, but we're gonna break it right back out into Thursday. The focus point for this fit is going to be the hoodie. This is a Pythia X Common Hype three-year anniversary collaboration hoodie. We teamed up with our friend Jack over at Pythia in celebration of Common Hype's three-year anniversary. We did a whole week of collabs. We did one with More Heat. We also did one with the Arizona Coyotes. This was one of the three collaborations that we dropped last Friday. I think these are sold out now. If there are any, they would be on the website. So I'll link them down below, uh, but they were only limited to a hundred pieces. It's on this cream cotton hoodie, and then you have individual leather star patches sewn in to the whole front of the hood. And then down here by the pocket, you have the Pythia classic branding with the common hype Japanese script right under it. One of Pythia's hoodies is actually called their peripheral hoodie. So if you guys can see some of these unique cuts throughout the hoodie, uh, it really is tailored towards the hood, which has these little cuts right here on the side, and it gives you better peripheral vision if you got the hood up while you're wearing it. So that's where the name comes from. I really love this piece. Shout out to Jack for making this thing come to life and actually happen for us. Really sick and really proud of how the drop for this one went. Under that tee, we're just gonna put this No Fear Blood Drive tee. Looks like something No Fear partnered up with for some type of blood drive and they gave these t-shirts out to the donors. This one's not on a No Fear tag, it's on a heavyweight Hanes tag. One of my more random No Fear pieces, uh, if you really think about it, but nonetheless, I think it's really sick and very, very comfortable because the shirt's so old. It's been washed so many times, it's very soft and I just really love this one. Well, they just look good with everything, honestly. But we're gonna switch it up right now. I'm gonna put a pair of shorts on. This is a pair of just Carhartt worker shorts. I've had these forever. Wore them a bunch this summer. Probably gonna wear a good amount in winter as well, just because of the short hoodie combo in the winter. Here in Arizona especially, pretty undefeated. So I think the low today was 73, but the high was still 103. So you're never really guaranteed a good day of weather, but you always gotta be prepared for it just in case it happens. If you feel like you've seen this fit before, this is what I wore the day that we shot these hoodies and they sold pretty well, posted pretty well. So I would say the fit did at least all right. But right here we have the Jordan 3 reimagined white cement, whatever you want to call them. Nike Air on the back. I've worn the shit out of these. I don't even know what's on the bottom of them right now. I actually should probably... Love the way this hoodie turned out. So cozy and right in time for winter. Link in description again for any of the remaining sizes. And thank you again to Jack for making it happen. Friday, I was finally able to break out this new pair of pants that I've had for a couple weeks now. My good friends over at FKA Collection, they are a British streetwear company, sent me a huge pack a couple weeks ago, like 15 pieces, almost their whole collection, came in a box like, that fucking big. Very grateful and appreciative of them for sending me this stuff. They don't pay me. They've been sending me stuff for a couple years. I genuinely just really like their products. And yeah, shout out to the FKA team for this pair of double knee carpenter pants. And then as you guys can see on the double knee, there's actually an embossing with their logo on it. But they also did it on the back pockets, a contrast stitching all throughout, and then some silver hardware as well. I really like these. There's also a cream pair, which is like a little bit darker than the hoodie I'm wearing right now. Those ones are really sick too. The only thing is they fit me a little differently, but they're the same size. So I definitely like the way the other ones fit more, but I thought that these ones were really sick, especially for the outfit that I put together with them. 
forgot that I actually brought some of the pieces down to show you guys some of the other pieces they sent me. This is one of their graphic tees. It has the same contrast stitching around the neckline as well as the sleeves as well as the bottom hem. And then their classic vibrant winter hoodie colorways. You guys know their blue hoodie from I think two years ago is one of my favorite hoodies in my closet. Came back this year with this really sick like rustic orangey red colorway. Every week I have about 10 brands that will reach out to me, different brands that will want to do work and I've turned down every single one so far. I want to keep this channel authentic to again my actual opinions what I would actually wear and just keep it real with you guys especially when it comes to partnerships with actual clothing companies I'm not gonna put you guys on the stuff that I wouldn't even wear that doesn't really make sense and not really worth the money for the credibility in my opinion but with that being said if you guys are a brand owner or you know someone who is that wants to send me some stuff for the channel I'll definitely accept it but it's just a matter of I'm not gonna put it on the screen if it's not something I'd actually wear but as you guys saw with FKA Stephanie's I'm always down to work with people as long as I'm actually rocking with it Got a little sidetrack there, but back to the outfit. This vintage piece I broke out this week is probably my craziest vintage graphic t-shirt, I would say, in all over print, literally all over print. Front and back, sleeves, even a little bit on the inside of the neck collar as well. This was gifted to me at an event, um, I think it was in Florida a couple years ago. From what I can see on this shirt, I can't figure out what year it's from. Uh, it says Beatles product right here, Apple's Corpse Limited with the Apple logo and a trademark sign. Any vintage heads in the comments though, you know anything about this, let me know. I'm also gonna hit up my boy, uh, Jacob Starr. He might know a little bit more about this than I would, so I'm gonna shoot him a picture. It's funny though, this thing's just kind of been sitting in the closet for a while. I've worn it a couple times since I got it but first time that the channel's seeing it so so this fit on hey leave a like on this video if you haven't because it is hot as in this kitchen gonna finish off this fit in classic fashion with the Jordan 1 bands also known as breads also known as my favorite sneaker in my entire collection the one thing about wearing old band tees or artist tees are the people that actually like really fuck with that artist or whatever it is will be like you don't even know any beatles songs and i do yellow submarine i recently came up on this vintage no fear long sleeve i think i bought this one from des but it's got this really sick graphic on the back the engine graphic with the flames on it and then you have the front chest center hit right there this has a very very beautiful black faded wash it's almost gray at this point now it also has this flame hit on just the left sleeve which i think is really tight and i only have a handful of long sleeve vintage no fear pieces so i was really excited about this one and again the fade on it is just it's, it's pretty cool. this with a summer favorite you guys have seen these a bunch of times so i won't talk too much about them abc shorts in this white colorway and it's going to go really well with in my opinion the centerpiece of this outfit to keep these shorts up we're going to throw on the chrome hearts double roller belt as i said earlier stephanie workers club sent me not one pair, but two pairs of their classic S-Strike sneakers. This pair is gonna be a little different than the first pair we just saw, not because of the colorway, but because this is in a white leather. That first pair is actually a black canvas. So you get a bit of a material upgrade on this one. But going back to the colorway, I think this colorway is super sick. Again, blended the creams and the whites perfectly. A nice touch of black as well, which is going to pull this outfit together really well in my opinion. And as you guys can see, I couldn't help but put some wear into them the second that they landed. You guys know I'll buy a t-shirt and it could be two years before I wear it, but these sneakers, I was just so excited to get on my feet. Again, I'm not even getting paid to say it. I just really love this shoe and I'm appreciative that they went out of their way to send me a couple pairs. number two this week i just really fuck with this one you guys know i love like a bottom white half of the fit though so it could just be that could be the sneakers could be this long sleeve i don't know last outfit of the week let's go i'm gonna start sunday's outfit off with this piece right here this is another no fear piece on the beautiful bait in usa no fear tag this is their embroidered crew neck with the eyes on the front and then you have one of my favorite thing that no fear does is the collar embroidery which is just so sick i have a couple other crew necks where the eyes are actually right here on the collar and then the no fear is on the actual piece they just kind of inverse it but i really love this one and i wanted to start with this piece honestly just so i could see how it looked with this fit because i think saturday's fit was pretty tough 
as I've kind of tailored towards more neutral colors or a neutral palette in my wardrobe over the last like year or so, it just makes it so easy to like throw on basically any piece with what you're already wearing because most of these neutral colors just go really, really well complemented with each other. So this, for example, I feel like is a good representation of that. Just took off the black tee, threw on another neutral color, and it just blends in with what I'm already wearing. So to be honest, I even might like this fit more than the one I just had on, to be honest. Super tight either way, but I'm gonna switch the pants out, give you guys a different, more cozy look since it is a Sunday. Got these Bound by Soul nylon pants. You got Bound by Greatness embroidered here on the left thigh. And then you have the S hit on the back of the left leg. The jacket that this is actually supposed to be paired with has the like big ass B like right on the back of it. So these are really sick. I think that jacket's on my Instagram somewhere as well. I just can't wear the two together because I sound like a fucking garbage bag walking around. So I gotta pick my poison with the tracksuit one piece at a time. Oh, one thing I love about these though is there's a single belt loop right here where you can hang your keys. Fastener on these though is just honestly kind of weak. So like I can't wear these if I know I'm not gonna be sitting down all day because I'm just pulling my pants up every five seconds. But they look sick. Just to prove my point real quick, I'm gonna put these Stephanie's back on just so you can see what I'm talking about. See what I mean? And that's funny because I was just gonna throw these on with it. Again, all the same neutral colors, but honestly can't decide for this one. Drop a comment down. Are we team black Stephanie or are we team white Stephanie for this one? I'm not gonna lie. I think, I think I'm gonna go with white. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And we have one more thing left on the rack this week. This is my daily bag. It's a vintage No Fear backpack in this kind of like army green. And then right on top of it, I have this vintage No Fear bandana strapped right to the top here. Just big enough to fit like my iPad, chargers, any like the random shit that I would need going to work. And it's just kind of, is my little accessory piece every day of the week or some form of bag. I think later this year or early next year, uh, we're gonna make a backpack. So I'm really looking forward to that. But in the meantime, just the little daily piece that I've been carrying around. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think of all the outfits this week. See you in the next one.